Hi guys, Sandy from the Paddle School here. In this video today, we're gonna to look at how you can train with a ball machine. Now, this is something that we get asked a lot, and if you are able to get a court on your own and practice on your own with a ball machine, there are some really good things that you can do to improve your game, and we're gonna discuss them in this video. So before we get started, let us know down in the comments if you use a ball machine on your own or if you do a lot of practice against the wall on your own because this can be some of the best way to improve, particularly if you've got areas of technique to focus on. Yeah? So let us know down in the comments if you do any of this style of training yourself already. So there is a variety of ball machines out there. What you really want to be able to control with the machine is your ball characteristics. Yeah, So the ball characteristic has five different areas. It is the height, the speed, the spin, the depth, and the direction of your ball. Yeah, So that's something that you want to be able to manipulate with the ball machine so that you can hit all of the shots that you would want to in paddle. One of the best areas to work on if you do have a ball machine is your technique. Yeah, this is something that you get a predictable shot and it comes to the same place. So you are able to focus on your technique and make sure that that is your focus. Yeah, not necessarily the objective of your shot. You're focusing on the process or the technique of you hitting that ball. Yeah, that's, that's really important to do that. Now, if you are going to do a technical exercise with the ball machine, Make it as realistic as possible. For example, if you're gonna have a bandeja, make sure that you feed up the bandeja, you hit a bandeja, then you come and you touch a cone or you come to, to one side and then move back for the bandeja. If you're standing underneath this ball and it's giving you a shot and each time you're in the same position, then you're not practicing the technique of moving into position, which is probably one of the most important parts of that shot. Now, we just mentioned that obviously you want to focus on the process. But to some extent, you do want to focus on the outcome as well, yeah? Because you want to really work on consistency and accuracy of your shots. So whenever you are doing this, if you can put targets down for you to aim for and almost give yourself a challenge, how many balls you can hit into a specific area, that gives you a good idea of how consistent that shot is becoming. For example, if you're hitting two out of 10 in a certain area, you know that that's an area that you need to improve so that you can get that up towards eight or nine out of 10 if you can. So if you've got a ball machine where you can really change the characteristics, you could almost work on anything on the paddle court, yeah? Some of my favorite things to work on are the bandeja, yeah? Because from here, you can really work on your positioning, turning your shoulders, getting your rack, up in position and being aggressive with that ball if you want to make it more like a vibra. But you've also got loads of stuff that you can work on around the glass. For example, the return of serve, or if you want to practice attacking after the back glass. These are good areas to work on if you want to improve your game with the ball machine. Whenever you step onto a court, it's really important that you have a few key objectives. Yeah, whether you're using a ball machine or with a partner, or even in your matches, you want to have areas of focus that you know if you can achieve those, that you will improve your game. And this is exactly how we work with our students online, is we look at their games, we analyze their matches, and we determine what they should focus on that week so that they can improve. Now, if you're interested in that, I'm gonna put a link in the description down below, and that is a good place to go if you want to get really better at your game and transform your paddle so that you can compete better in matches.